Okay, I'm gonna start. Um, let's we're rewriting this guy. So we have sine to u. I know I already gave you double angle formulas. This is a double angle right here because it's saying to u. I can rewrite this though. I can rewrite this as sine u plus u. Ooh, do you see where I'm going with that? Can you guys use the sum formula to write a more simple formula for sine to u? Okay, what is the formula for sine to u? Use use the sum formula. Raise it. Go. I'm gonna pause it right now. You you guys you guys do it yourself. Here we go. Here's our formula. It's sine cosine. It's the one that says sine u and then cosine u. And then you're supposed to switch it, switch the angles. But since the angles are the same, you just you get the same thing. Sine u cosine u. What? What did we want? Now, how can you rewrite that? If you had x y plus x y, how would you rewrite that? Yeah, so you would rewrite this as 2 sine u cosine u. Hey, check that out. There it is. That's your formula. It goes right there. There you have it. There's that formula. We just found that. Wow. Isn't that not excited? No, not Piggy, <laughs> you insult me. <laughs> okay, let's try the next one. Okay, next one. We're doing the cosine to you. What? All right, so that's going to be cosine to you. Now you guys do it. Use the sum formula to find the formula for cosine u. Okay, my turn. My turn. Here we go. This is cosine u plus u. This equals cosine u times cosine u. Says the sum formula minus sine u times sine u. And uh, what is cosine times cosine? cosine? Cosine squared u minus sine squared u. Hey, yo. You guys remember that formula? It's right here. It's right here in your textbook. You see it? You see it? You see it? Yeah, you, don't, you don't see it? Uh, the, the bigger question is how do you get the other ones? You simplify the cosine. Oh, you think you know? Here, you guys go ahead and try first before I do it. Okay, my turn. You guys see this co this uh, sign right here? Yeah. What is sine squared u equal? All right, so I'm going to have cosine squared u minus 1 minus uh, cosine squared u. Right? Right? I take this out and I put that in. Now I'm going to distribute this negative right here. And now I have two cosine squared u's, and then there's minus one. Hey, look at that guy. Look at that guy. He's right there. How would I find this one? Replace cosine squared u. With yeah, cosine replace the cosine squared, squared u. Let's do that one too. Uh, if you guys haven't done it already, cosine squared u, that's one minus sine squared u, minus sine squared u. Check that out. We have a negative sine squared u and a negative sine squared u. If I add those together, I get one minus two sine squared u. And my students, my students, that is why cosine two u gets three of them because of the Pythagorean identity. He gets three identities for the double angle formula.